Hi guys, how are you going? Campbell here. Uh, thank you for joining me. And today I wanted to talk about what's going on in the world uh, with the whole pandemic. And I can't really say that word because uh, YouTube don't like it. So I'll just you know be saying what's going on. So what I wanted to talk about is, has it changed your perceptions and your goals? Because, you know, two, three months ago, we were all walking around living our lives. And of course we had goals for the future. You know, what, what we wanted to do in a year, in two years, five, 10 years, what we wanted our life to be like. And suddenly everything seems to have been changed. You know, the outside world around us has been changed. All the rules have been changed. You know, the lines have been moved. And so has this changed your dreams and your goals of the future? Have you let the outside world dictate to you what your future should be? Because this is what's happening with a lot of people is they now find themselves in a situation where that they had dreams and they might have wanted to you know, move to the country or move overseas, get things done, you know, build businesses you know, that are based around people. And now with what's going on, a lot of these dreams seem to be um, not available to us anymore. But they are okay this is just the outside world talking to you this is all you know the negativity from the mainstream media tv that's telling you that you can't do what you want that you can't have the life that you want but the truth is they don't get to tell you the outside world does not dictate to you what your future can be and what your experiences can be what dictates that is you what's inside of you and your thoughts because our thoughts are so important and this is why our TV is so detrimental to us achieving our goals and becoming who we want to be because TV is a narrative that programs us. That's why it's called television programming. We all know about affirmations and affirmations is repeating a sentence or an idea over and over again in your mind so that you can program it in there and get it into your subconscious mind so it becomes a subconscious program you know it happens automatically and so what the TV does is that does the same thing it just tells you the same story over and over again and they're programming you to what they want for their future the same with music you know if we're singing lyrics over and over and over again we're actually programming ourselves that's that's an affirmation so this is the thing is the outside world now dictating your future to you because it really shouldn't be. The power is inside us and the power is always inside us to choose who we want to be and to decide where we want to go because we all have choice. The only thing we ever really own is choice. You know, and, and some of those choices, sure, can be extreme, but we always have choice. And in a time like now, yeah, you know, in the craziness of the world at the moment and everything that's going on, everything being flipped upside down, it's more important than ever to stay true to yourself, to stay on course and to keep, you know, your, your thoughts, your energy and your focus directed on the future that you want to experience. Because again, it's up to you guys. You can't, if you let the outside world and what's going on affect you and your goals and your beliefs, then are you really living your life? Because what happens is you start, you know, living life through someone else's perspective. And what we really are is consciousness, which is a perspective of life. So if you're living through someone else's perspective, are you actually living your own life? So this is the message, guys. Uh, we can't change who we are inside to fit with the outside world and stay true to ourselves. So at times like this, I would ask you all to go inside, you know, meditation, obviously meditation is key to uh, relaxing yourself, your spirit, your mind, and to start to, you know, really focus on what you want and to start to believe that you have the power to do that. Because in the end, if you don't believe, if you don't have the belief in yourself that you can do, be and have whatever you want, then, then, then that will hold you back from taking the action to put that into, you know, to make that a reality. You won't take the action if you don't believe it. So this is why our thoughts and meditation and getting in touch with ourselves is so important, guys, because that's who we really are. And unless we know who we really are, we can't, you know, act. We can't do the actions 
of who we really are and so we can't receive what we really want. So that's it, a short message guys, just with the craziness outside, and this, and this also applies to any time in history. Obviously everything now in our uh, external world is getting amplified, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's all a lot stronger, you know, the change is a lot stronger, the contrasts that we're seeing are, are a lot greater. But for any time in history, always, we need to go inside and decide who we are to create our lives. We can't create our lives from what we see outside because what we see outside is just what other people do and want. And this is you know, how we get off course. So stay strong, guys. Believe in yourself because the power is within you. It is. It's all in here, in your heart. So focus on that. Meditate. Decide what you want and do not let outside experiences and circumstances change you from your path. Stay true and you will get there. Hope this helped guys. Thanks for spending some time with me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.